Well then, I did not expect it to be pouring today. But on the bright side, my fabulous stuff is out for re-deliver right now and my part for the Bora is finally out for deliver. Thank goodness. Also, it's a bit chilly today. I haven't seen my breath in a long time. This is uh, this is not nice weather. But if my parts are here, it's okay. One thing about Euro money that's way different than American money, well one, it looks a lot cooler, but two, they have way more coins than we actually have. So my bill for Fabulous is 32.36 just to pick up my stuff from the, uh, the mail carrier. So I have 20.30, then I have a $2 coin, a 20, a 10, a five, and a one to make that 2.36. Uh, and it was kind of funny, but they also have a one dollar coin, a fifty, and a two cent coin. So there's a lot of coins. All right, so we will put all of this right next to the door, and now we wait. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Fabulous stuff is here. Yes, first delivery of the day. Boys are at Fabulous Manufacturing, hooking it up. Cannot wait to get this stuff opened up. Now we just wait for my Bora package to hopefully show up very, very soon. So I checked this, it says delivered. I come to the front door and I don't see anything. And I was like, what the heck? So I ran to the back door. Wait forward, wait forward, wait forward. Boom, big reveal. Look at that. It's finally here. Obviously, as you can see, the weather is, uh, it's quite crap today, but we'll try and get this box for the Bora uh, done today. We'll do the Fabulous stuff. Hopefully tomorrow, I wanna do a nice cinematic video of that outside when the weather is nicer. So hopefully tomorrow it clears up. But today, oh, it's finally here. A little concerned because the box is already like open. I didn't do this, but it's okay. As you can see, I actually showed you guys this lip. Oh, well, there it is, it's a lip. But I showed you guys this part a few months back that I actually wanted it. And I was gonna get a OEM uh, Bora four motion front lip. But this actually lip brand new is cheaper than buying a used Bora lip that had assembly on, so we snagged this. Ooh, I got some magazine goodies. This is the magazine they handed out at, um, oh no, this is a new one. So at Essen they had the 2019 one. This is actually the brand new 2020 Rieger magazine, which is pretty cool. So there's that and some more stuff. But what's really awesome is we have this, and hopefully it's in one piece, which it looks like it is. Get out of there. Yes. This way. Look at that. So this is the Rieger um, Bora, for, not four motion front lip, but Rieger uh, Bora front lip. It's very similar to the um, the four motion lip, but these are actually functioning holes, and it's a little bit deeper. That's nice, look at that. So yeah, after putting the sections on the Bora and having new wheels, I really want a front lip. And is it between a Bora four motion one or this one? This one's really nice. Look at that. And it's not broken at all, which is cool. So same material as my other Rieger front lip and the other side skirts. We'll probably paint it black. Actually, this one looks painted already, actually. It looks darker than the last one. But I'll probably paint it with some trim paint and then we'll slide it on the car. Hopefully, the range is out a little bit. But either way, look how sick that is. I mean, the front of the car looks so much better. I can't wait. Man, this is such a nice lip. And also came with some mounting hardware I saw on this side right in there. Cause on the normal um, Mark IV lips on the back side of right here is a flat piece that comes down where you actually screw in uh, through the fender line to hold the lip on. But this one is just smooth right here. So I'm assuming I have to screw through one of these little tabs possibly to kind of hold it on. Or we'll see, it might just fit on its own. Like my rigor lip on my uh, on Miley just pops on, doesn't go anywhere. So this might fit the same way or it might add some screws. Either way, the lip is sick. I'm really happy with this thing. I really love it. They still make all their old parts. Like that's my rigor front lip for the Vento. And then I have the these side shirts here, but it's cool they still make all these old parts, the Mark 1s, Mark 2s, all the BMWs, the Audis, lots of cool stuff. My lip is in here. That's the Golf 4 Motion front lip. Well, not 4 Motion, but their style of it. And then the Bora one should be in here somewhere right there. Bam. Originally I wanted this rear lip as well, but that won't fit the wagon back end, but still, we got it, and that was just sick. So much cool stuff in here. This weather is trash. Let's get the goods, which are, or actually are they? Oh, there, nope, that's not it, that's not it, uh-oh. Oh no, we're good. Whew. 
We good, we are fine. Jeez, it's windy outside today. All right, we've got our fancy paint booth all set up. Now, obviously this thing is already, it comes black from the factory, but in the box with no like wrapping around this, it hits the cardboard and there's little scratches kind of all over it. So a fresh coat of trim paint, get it looking nice and I'll match this saturated perfectly. And then on the car she goes. All right, boys, we're about to make this look like brand new. Well, the lip is brand new, but we're gonna make it look, I guess more brand new, yeah. More brand new for the brand new lip. Brand new. Trim paint the world. A million times better already. All right, first light layer, done. We've got the very fancy drying station going on. The big heater right there, the small one over here. This thing's just about, yeah, I think it's good to go. I checked the weather, though, it felt kind of cold outside. It's currently 37 degrees and raining. It's about one to two degrees off from snowing right now. Yesterday, it was beautiful. It was like 78 degrees and beautiful. And today it's almost snowing. Germany, are you okay? I haven't had to bust out the uh, the big jacket here in quite a while, but I guess today is the day. All right, we have the, uh, the boots on. We have the big jacket, the hood underneath. I can't say I, uh, can't say I missed this in the slightest bit. We're gonna pull the R32 out of the way and then have the bar pulled just to the front so I have some light, but I'm not in the rain. So for anyone who is new, this is the Bora wagon. Just the trusty daily. KWV1 suspension, 17 inch Santa Monica wheels, Audi A4 side skirts, we may fit for this car, but it's definitely missing a lip. Now, originally like I said I wanted the Bora 4 motion front lip. This is the OEM 4 motion front lip for the Golf, not the Bora, but I wanted this lip for that car. Unfortunately, all the ones I found, they wanted more money than the Rieger lip, so I just bought the Rieger lip, but this car will look much, much nicer with the lower front end. All right, so if we go ahead and turn the wheel all the way to one side, that way we can see, I'm pretty sure it's a T20. It's right, uh, right there. There's one in each side that actually holds the back side of the lip to the fender liner. Once you pull it off, the whole thing will pop forward and out of the way. I gotta tell you, this cold sucks. It's also, this is also T25, by the way. But yeah, this cold sucks. My hands are already cold. I don't miss this garbage in the slightest bit. It's awful. And then one more on this side. And we can go ahead and take the front lip off. A quick yank and hopefully it comes off easily. There's also a little tab right here that kind of goes up onto the bumper to kind of get out of there. Like that. There she is. One down. This thing is gonna look so good on the wagon. I'll put it next to the other one, the OEM 4 motion real quick. So you can see it's similar to the factory 4 motion lip, except these are actually open where those ones are closed and this one's a bit deeper all around than that one, but it's a very similar design. Now this lip did come with hardware to actually mount the lip to the bumper so it can't like come off, but I don't know if I'm gonna need it or not. This lip over here is also a Rieger lip uh, same thing, one piece construction. It came with hardware as well, but I didn't use it. I always run this lip, no hardware. I can pull it off whenever I want and it just kind of goes on, but it doesn't move anywhere. So if this one fits nice and tight with no issues. We won't worry about screwing it on, but if it's loose and kind of floppy, we'll go ahead and put a couple screws. That way it just can't fall off. Now on the factory lips, they all have this little flat panel piece here where you actually screw that little T25 in and it holds on there. I'm not sure why Rieger chose to not do that. It's just a flat piece right there with no mounting tab right there. It would have been much easier just to do two of these on the, on the lip versus making 
screws to go in through the top side here, but I guess, I don't know. I'm not sure who decided that, but they did it. Moment of truth, boys. How is our new lip gonna look? All right, let me find my center here. I may have to go from one side to the other, like on Miley, but we'll see. I can't really see. I think this is coming close to center. I think. No, maybe yes. All right, hit that center. We'll do our sides now. Ooh, all right, all right, nice, nice. Almost there on this side, we'll miss in here. Come on, oh, there it is. Is that it? Yes. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right, let's get a full look here. What do we think? Yeah. That looks good. Really ties in with the side skirts. Very nice. And like I said, it's a very nice OEM Plus kind of style lip, and it works with the side skirts like perfectly. What I did notice though, on the corners here, it's kind of uh, floppy. Same on this side. So I'm probably gonna put a screw at least right here somewhere at the end just to hold this flush to the bumper. But other than that, fitment's really nice. I like it. All right, so what I decided to do in terms of securing this lip in the simplest way possible, because I wanna put screws all up here, because that'll mean I have to jack up the car and put screws on the bottom side up, and that's a pain. I want the look to be easy on, easy off. So what we're gonna do, the lip actually come with a nice little cutout right there. And what that does is that it feeds in between the fender liner right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a screw right on the very top side of this little notch right there. There's enough space for that. That way, all I have to do is pull one screw in right here, and it's gonna hold this corner piece in, and it won't let it drop down because there's a little, uh, little ledge right here, and then one screw out, and it'll pop right back out. Very simple, very easy, just enough to make sure the lip can't come off or move, and it's nice and secure, but I don't have to be under the car putting the screws in the front, all kind of nonsense. So, very simple, but effective. Gonna get yourself a nice little hole. Drill it right over here in the corner. There should be enough space. All right, that's through, so now I can pull this back out. There you go, look at that. Nice little hole right in the corner. So once I push this through, we'll put this screw back through and it should hold us nice and tight. All right, we did it. One simple little screw right there. Can't tell from the outside, and look at this. Nice and tight, not going nowhere. And if I want it off, one screw back out, and boom, off it goes. We've got one more side to do, and our fancy rear lip will be fully installed. All right, hole number two is done. All right, the range chilled out a little bit, but not really at the same time. But either way, I want to pull the wagon out and get a full walk around the car. If anyone wants an OEM bore front lip, I now have one. Yo, I love this thing. This wagon has been such an amazing vehicle and I love how it looks. It looks so good. And it's fun fact, this front lip is the first like brand new piece this car has got. Everything else is either used from somebody or from the junkyard. This is like the first like new piece we put on it. And man, does it fit so well. That front lip and those side skirts look like they're just made to be together. They flow so nicely. And 41 says it, yes I know. Paint match would be way better, but this looks sick nonetheless. I'm kind of feeling like we need a rear lip now. What do you guys think? I kind of think we need some sort of rear lip now. Maybe we'll ditch the, uh, ditch the mud flaps and go with a nice rear lip. They do make that, um, that GLI style one, which I think would look pretty good on this car. We'll see. But we have our front lip now. I still want my leather interior and possibly now a rear lip. But hey, the wagon is just getting better and better. I love this thing. One of my best purchases of all time. Can't go wrong. Look at Steve up there on top of the tree. I see you, Steve. What you gotta say today? 
Oh, oh. Kind of rude, but he's not wrong. We definitely do need to paint the uh, the calipers. They're looking kind of rough. Okay, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. We'll paint the calipers next, okay? We'll paint them. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end it here. My hands are frozen. My nose is runny. This weather sucks. I'm just, I'm not a fan of it at all, but the wagon looks incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.